Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. In this video we will learn how to create this kind of radial slider in Flutter. And one more thing please go through this video completely because, this same widget is get used in the next video where I've converted a dribble UI into Flutter. So let's start this video, so here I've an empty project, and for adding the radial slider in Flutter we need to use the Syncfusion Flutter gauges package. So let's go to the pubspec.yaml file, and here add this dependency, then tap on the pub get option to get all the dependency. Then come to the main.dart file, now here first come above, and the here create a variable called radial value, and set it to 10.0. This variable will be used to set the initial value of the radial slider, then come to the build method, and here add child to the center widget, then here add sf radial gauge widget then add axis property, and here inside this array add a radial axis widget, so this widget is used to create the radial slider, then here add minimum property and set it to zero. So this is going to be the lowest value of slider that is zero, or let's say the starting value of slider, then here add the maximum value parameter, and assign the value 100 to it, which means this is going to be the last value of the slider. Then here add the start angle property, and set it to zero, which means the slider will start from zero degree that means from center left, then here add the end angle property, and set it to 360, which means the slider will end at 360 degree, then here add the show labels property, and set it to true, which means the labels will be shown on the slider. Then here add the labels position property, and set it to elements position dot inside, which means the labels will be shown inside the slider, then here add show ticks property, and set it to true, then add the radius factor property, and set it to 0.5, so radial factor means the size of the slider, now let's save the code to see our progress, so yeah the radial is appeared on the screen, right now it's not interactive, but wait for few more minute will make it. Let's do one thing that this to 0.7 from 0.5. So right now there is too much labels are there on screen, so let's fix this by adding interval property and set it to 20, now you can see the interval between these value is changed. Now if you don't want to show this first label then you can make show first label property to false, now the first label is removed. And you can also set the format of the label by using label format property, and here you can use the curly braces to show the value, and then add the unit, so here I've added the unit kilometer per hour, now the label is showing the value with unit. Now add the axis line style property, and set it to axis line style, and here add the corner style property, and set it to both curve, so this will make the slider curve from both side. Then add the pointers property and here add range pointer widget, then add value property and set it to radial value, then add corner style property, and set it to both curve, then add width property and set it to 12, then add size unit property and set it to gauge size unit dot logical pixel, then add color property and set it to colors dot purple, so this is going to be the color of the slider. Then add another pointer, and here add marker pointer widget, then add value property and set it to radial value, then add enable dragging property and set it to true, then add on value changed property, so this will give us a value and then we will assign this value to to radial value variable. Now if you will save the code then can play with this slider any way as you want. Now here add marker height property and set it to 20, then add marker width property and set it to 20, but it's looking to small so let's change it to 30, then add marker type property and set it to marker type dot circle, then add border width and set it to 2, then add border color and set it to colors dot purple accent, so this is going to be the color of the border for the pointer of this slider, and this is looking fine for me, then add the annotations property, and here add gauge annotation widget, then add angle property and set it to 90, then add axis value property and set it to 5, then add position factor property and set it to 0 point. 1, then for widget property and set it to text widget, then add text property and set it to the value of radial value, then add style property and set it to text style, then add font size property and set it to 25, then add font weight, and let's do one more thing, here also add the unit to this text widget, now save the code, and you can see the radial slider is working pitch perfect. Now let's dig deeper inside the angle thing for this slider, 
So here let's assume you have set up the starting angle to 90 and end angle to 270, then you are going to see the half slider. So basically this was the thing for starting and end angle, you can play around with it, until you not found your desired shape. So yay that was it for this video, and if you have learned something new from this video then please give a thumbs up to this video, and also share this video with your friends, and if you have any queries or suggestions then please let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next video, till then keep learning keep building, and see you in the next video.